get you to hold that bulb and all right so to begin with you can just put that in your mouth just a little bit further back behind your upper teeth mm -hmm. okay and just for fun you can just squeeze once to see squeeze as hard as you can and you can see the signal going up nice and high and then you can let go and relax so what we're going to do is record three um, tongue squeezes and so we want each of them to be quite a nice short um, peak so just up and down so whenever you're ready one that was 54 kilopascals two and three so to measure tongue strength we take a series of these tongue pressure events um, at this point we've had the bulb in what we consider the anterior position so at the front of the mouth and let me just pause this and the um, usual convention to determine tongue strength is to take the highest of a series of three um, that's called the one max repetition and so in Kirsten's case that would be at 54 so it's in the normal tongue strength range now we'll also uh, just to illustrate the comparison get you to do a couple of swallows and so if you would like to put that back in your mouth and just swallow your saliva just once it's a little hard to generate a swallow sometimes with a bulb in your mouth. Why don't you do another one? Okay, so are you putting effort into that, would you say? It's hard. It's a little bit hard to do. And so um, the saliva swallows, as I mentioned earlier, are usually much lower in strength than what we see on a maximum strength task. In this case, your maximum was at about 20 kilopascals here. And uh, we usually look for those saliva swallows to be about half of the strength value. So yours is right in that pocket.